On November 12, 2014, the Rosetta satellite dropped the Philae lander down onto a rotating comet with a maximum speed of 84,000 miles per hour. To complete this mission, Rosetta had to travel almost 4 billion miles over the course of a decade. How do you even begin to achieve something so remarkable? Well, with a lot of math and careful planning. Scientists had to chart out 10 years of movement by three celestial bodies, calculate the precise movements required to pull off four gravity assists, and coordinate an exact meeting point between Rosetta and Comet 67P a decade into the future. When Rosetta was launched, it was traveling at 25,000 miles per hour. Pretty fast, but nowhere near the speed of Comet 67P. It took an extreme amount of energy to accelerate the satellite to those speeds, energy the satellite just didn't have. So it had to rely on gravity assist maneuvers to keep on path. A gravity assist maneuver, also referred to as slingshotting, is when a spacecraft flies close enough to a planet to feed off of its gravitational pull. The planet's pull and spin give the craft enough energy to whip around and shoot back off into space, gaining speed along the way. Rosetta performed three of these maneuvers around Earth and one around Mars before it reached sufficient speed. It then entered hibernation for two and a half years before it got its first glimpse of the comet in March of 2014. The satellite then had to perform a series of complicated moves to slow itself down enough to enter the orbit of the comet, which was traveling around 35,000 miles per hour at this point. Over the course of a few months, Rosetta entered close orbit and was finally ready to drop Philae. The comet's gravitational pull is hundreds of thousands of times weaker than Earth's, so the lander only weighed about the amount of a piece of paper as it dropped. And unfortunately, the harpoon guns meant to anchor it to the comet failed to launch but it was still able to stick around and run some tests on the surface before its batteries died. Who needs science fiction? Reality is so much better.